Welcome back everyone to another lovely episode of the Blender tutorial series, and today we're going to apply all of the skills that we've learned so far to make a tree. Just a nice, simple, low poly looking tree. We're going to be using modifiers, all the basic modeling techniques, spawning in primitives, moving around the viewport, etc, etc. Everything that we've learned is going to go into this model. So without further ado, let's get started. So to start with this model, we're just going to be in a new Blender viewport. Uh, we're going to delete the light and the camera, but we are going to keep the cube as we need it. So go into edit mode and select everything except for one vertice, just like that. And now we're just going to delete it all. So press delete on your keyboard and go to vertices and just click it. And now it's kind of hard to see, but we we have one vertice left in the viewport and that's exactly what we want so uh, move it around till about about like around the center it doesn't have to be perfect and now we're just gonna go and hit E on our keyboard to extrude it out and we're just gonna do this a couple different times uh, maybe like little curve around here yeah that looks fine uh, I might move these on different axes as well so it doesn't look completely straight oh uh, that looks good and now right here we're gonna branch off so uh, extrude one side out as far as you can rotate it uh, maybe grab uh, Grab the center vertice again, just extrude out to this side, uh, this side as well. Let's probably do three, then branch out on each of them. Now we can grab vertices on the branches and extrude these out. We just want branches absolutely everywhere. That looks pretty good. Now we can also press this button up here called proportional editing. And when you click it, you can press G to move around vertices. And then you'll notice it'll move around the vertices next to it as well, but not quite as intensely. Then you can use your mouse wheel to adjust this intensity. Super helpful, especially for models like this. So I'm gonna do it just to move our center vertice down. Might even move some of these branches around. And now another cool thing is you can also rotate with proportional editing. If I press R and Z on my keyboard, it'll lock rotation to the Z axis. And I can just rotate these up and down to create some cool effects. That looks pretty good. So we want like a sort of skeleton of a dead tree to start off with. Now I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna go over to modifiers. We're gonna add a modifier that I didn't actually cover last time and it's called the skin modifier. And what this does is it takes, uh, you know, just straight up vertices and edges like this and it's gonna go ahead and give them a full mesh all the way around them. I'll show you what it looks like real quick. So we go to modifiers and then just hit skin. You can see it's really thick. So to resize it, we actually go into edit mode. It's for some reason not in the modifier settings. Now we just select our entire tree, uh, make sure we got all the vertices here, and now we press Control A on our keyboard to resize it all. And you can just shrink it up and down. I'm gonna go about like, maybe right here is good, but you'll notice again, uh, we don't want a skinny bottom, that looks weird. So select just that bottom vertice, and now with proportional editing activated, we can press Control A and scale it upward while also scaling up the rest of the faces accordingly. Okay, so that looks pretty good for the skin modifier, and you can't actually apply modifier in edit mode. So I'm going to go back to object mode and just hit apply real quick. Very nice. And now you'll notice this bottom face looks pretty weird. It's at a bad angle. So go back to edit mode, face select at the top, click on it. And now on your keyboard, press S Z to scale on the Z axis and then zero. And that'll just give the uh, scale up and down a factor of zero, which completely flattens it out. I'm also noticing this face right here isn't at an angle that I like. It's a little bit weird. So I can go ahead and go to edge select at the top. And now I'm going to hold down alt on my keyboard and click one of these edges. So when you hold alt and select, it selects the whole loop of something. I can do that with faces here, just alt, select, select. You'll see it selects the entire loop. Super, super fast shortcut. So with this selected, I'm going to hit proportional editing again, and I'm just going to move these around until it looks a little bit less crazy. Yeah, maybe, maybe about right there. Beautiful. Now I'm going to add another modifier, and this one's going to be a subsurf modifier. You'll see that flattens it out, makes it look a lot more smooth, and just visually appealing. So apply that real quick. Then I'm going to right click and hit shade smooth to make it all nice and polished looking. Now we're going to add some leaves as well, but I want to keep this nice and low poly. So let's keep the leaves low poly. Click on the tree and press H on your keyboard to hide it. To bring it back, you can just press this little curve at the top of your viewport. And you can also press the same button to hide it again. So this doesn't actually delete the tree. It just keeps it invisible so we can work in our viewport without actually like accidentally selecting it. So now that it's hidden, we can press shift A, go to mesh, but we're going to add in this weird one, the icosphere, and we're going to cut it in half. So go into edit mode and just select all the ver all the faces in the bottom half. Now, because these are at really weird angles, you can't actually use alt to select the whole loop. So you just have to box select them. Okay. They're all nice and selected. Same thing as the cube from the start. Just delete on my keyboard, but go down to faces. Beautiful. Now this looks a little bit too perfect to be leaves. So on my keyboard, I'm going to press F3 
And this is basically like a search bar for almost every tool in Blender. Super helpful. And we're gonna search randomize transform, just like that. But I actually forgot to go into edit mode. We have to do that first and then make sure all the faces are selected. You can do that by pressing A on your keyboard if you wanna speed it up. And now we can press F3, randomize transform. And you'll notice it makes the faces all wonky, which is exactly what we want. If you click this little menu below, you can adjust the intensity of it and the random seed if you want like different variations. So this looks pretty good for what we're doing. So once you're happy with it, just deselect all the faces in the bottom ring like this. Once that's done, we have all these bottom row faces deselected. We're going to right click and hit extrude faces along normals. So this is a little bit different from a normal extrusion and I'll show you how. If I just extrude, you'll see they go straight up, kind of boring. But if I extrude along normals, they stay proportional to the way they were angled. So extrude it out just a tiny bit like that. Now I delete another row and we're going to do it again. Final row right here, right click, extrude faces along normals and beautiful. Now back in object mode, I'm just going to hit S and Z and scale this way down on the Z axis. And I'm also going to grab these faces and scale them in just a tiny bit like that. Beautiful looking. Now it's pretty thin. So let's add another modifier. This one is going to be a solidify modifier. All this does is make objects thicker. You can see we can adjust the thickness and just make it nice and chunky. Also, because it's low poly, I'm not going to shade it smooth. I'm just going to keep it shaded flat because we want that look. Now I'm going to unhide the cube and we have our leaves. Now to align them, you can press numpad 1 and numpad 3 on your keyboard. Now don't confuse these with just number 1 and number 3 because those aren't going to do anything. The numpad is like the thing on the far right. Not every keyboard has them. So if you don't, you can just press the axis at the top as well. Like I'm just going to press numpad 1 and it takes me to a straight 2D view of the viewport. You can also just press the Y axis or the X axis at the top. These do the same thing, just a 2D view of the viewport. This makes it way easier to align things like leaves. So I'm just going to press G to grab it and let's align it uh, to this batch of branches up here. Make sure it fits in nicely, rotate it a little bit if you have to. And I want to be sure it's covering most of the branches. If it's off by a little bit, you can just grab the branch, select a couple of the faces, go into proportional editing and move them until they collide with the branch just like that. That looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to add leaves to all the other branches now. Don't forget to adjust like the scale and the rotation so they don't look all the same. And this looks pretty good. It's nice and simple, not too complicated, just a nice simple background prop for a video game. I'm going to select all the leaves now, right click and join them together. This just makes the blender think that they're one object. Now we can go over to materials on the bottom left, hit new for a new material, change the base color to a nice looking green maybe, make that a little bit darker. And now to see it, we just go to material preview mode at the top. Beautiful. Now let's just make this a nice brown. So click the plus button by materials for a new material, go to new and make that base color nice brown right here. Let's just uh, darken it up. That's perfect. You'll notice though, it's not actually applied to the tree because we have to apply it to the faces. So go into edit mode, uh, press A to select all those branches and hit assign while the material is selected. And they're nice and brown. You could also make like, I don't know, an orange material, make it like all autumn and stuff like that. Total creative freedom with colors. Just do whatever you think looks nice. And total creative freedom with leaves as well. You could add a ton more branches. You could make different leaves for every part of the tree. I mean, you could make this look so much different than the way I made it and still make it look incredible. Tree Trees have so much freedom, man. You don't even have to use the same like leaves as I did. You could add cubes or something or whatever you want. Uh, later in the series, we will definitely do more complex models, but this is just something low poly and simple that you can like, you know, show to your parents, show off your 3D modeling skills, put in a video game. And honestly, I'd say this is even high quality enough to sell. You could put this on a marketplace or like, I don't know, sell it to some Roblox game developer and make a little bit of money. Hope you all found this helpful and enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you all in the next episode of the tutorial series.